Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel. We're the Daunties. My name is Rochelle. I'm your favorite Donna. And today we're going to share with you another collection that we didn't know we had. <laughs> so, it, it, it just happened. Anybody like magnets? Anybody? Anybody? Apparently we do, and we have a magnet collection we would like to share with you guys. Who knew? <laughs> So yes, we have a Disney magnet collection that just sort of happened over time. I know our first surge was in 2018. We got a lot of magnets from the character warehouse and they were like a dollar a piece. They were less than they were like 20 cents a piece. Oh, are they? Yeah. Oh. So we have so many. And so you're going to see that. We, we wow. gave some to everybody in the family yes. when we got home, yes. and we still got some left we have, over. We have a ton, <laughs> but I really like them because they are actually big magnets and kind of strong, so what we're going to do is we're going to take everything that's personal on our fridge, take it off, and really just highlight the magnets that we have, because yeah, I really looked at it one day on our fridge and thought, when did we get a magnet collection? When? When did this happen? I don't know. So, um, <laughs> if you guys like magnets or want to see some, some weird ones, or maybe you guys have a collection too and you just don't realize it, like us, <laughs> uh, stay tuned and let's just, uh, let's just show you. <laughs> here we, here we go! So as you can see, we do have quite the magnet collection. Most of them are Disney, but not all of them. So if we start... Up here, of course, these are all of Donna's Haunted Mansion uh, magnets. Um, we got these in a set. Um, these are actually like little dress-up dolls, so you can take off their clothes and, and change things up a bit. I kind of create a scene. We got that at the Character Warehouse, if I'm not mistaken. So those are just a lot of fun. They're really fun to look at, but we're not actually utilizing them the way that they should be utilized, if that makes sense. They're just for decoration. Now, you see all of these 2018 magnets. <laughs> so the first time we went to the character warehouse uh, was in November of 2018 and they had these magnets for like 15 cents a piece and they had hundreds of them. So we grabbed several, gave some out to the family and we had actually just gotten this house not too long before then and we didn't have any magnets at all. So we actually got these for our refrigerator and um, as you can see, over time we've accumulated even more. Uh, so these are just kind of lined up. But yeah, we have plenty Disneyland and Disney World 2018 magnets to spare. Then we come to this four pack of Minnie and Mickey. And this is in their hipster style, which is my absolute favorite style of Minnie and Mickey. And because they look like real, like just real people, just, you know, Mickey and Minnie. And these are actually really good, strong magnets as well. Uh, we got this, this set of four from the Character Warehouse, if I'm not mistaken. But it's my favorite style. They had them in magnets, so I had to add them to our fridge. Uh, moving over a little bit, we have this super adorable Dory uh, magnet that is just so cute. I think I got that from, oh gosh maybe Character Warehouse or Magic at Your Door. I'm not entirely sure. It's been a long time, but I love this 3D Dory magnet. It's so cute. And you're going to see all of these little uh, magnets from Finding Dory or Finding Nemo, all of these down here. Um, those actually came from the Game Boys through a pin trade. They sent me a huge sheet of uh, finding Nemo magnets. Uh, so I just kind of cut them out of, or pop them out and place them all over the fridge. So you're going to see those everywhere. Uh, moving right along, we have some more Haunted Mansion ones. This one is a bottle cap opener. This one we got from uh, It's Always Sunny. And then these two we got from Magic at Your Door. So here you're going to see also some Ninja Turtle ones, which actually hold up pictures of our kiddos that I took off the fridge for this video. And we got a whole bunch of these Minion ones. These are actually from a Valentine's Day bundle that we got on sale after Valentine's Day last year. So we kept all the magnets because, you know, they're, they were like for little kids to hand out Valentine's Day cards and, and whatnot. Um, but we kept them all, obviously. Um, and we stuck them on the fridge for Donna's little minion army here on the fridge. And then this is a Bucky's magnet that we got 
In 2019, we went to the, at that time, there was only one Bucky's location that was outside of Texas. And we stopped by on our drive back from Florida and picked up this magnet to just kind of commemorate that experience. Moving down over here, um, whenever we stayed at Pop Century, we got that magnet at the parks, or sorry, at the resort. Uh, we have this really awesome kind of 3D Ursula here. Um, I'm not sure where we got that one. I can't remember, but we absolutely love it. And then you're gonna see a lot of these food themed uh, magnets. We got those from a, a pack from Character Warehouse as well. So this little Mickey is actually a chip clip and he just hangs out here on the fridge. And then this really huge Mickey head. It's so cute. And uh, we have a bottle cap opener from a casino that we got, oh gosh, like in 2006, 2007. It's been with us for a long time and we just kind of hang them there on the fridge for easy access. <laughs> and then down here are actually some of our newer magnets. Uh, so we do have a subscription to our local theater's uh, music program, the musical theater program. Um, and so we have all of these shows that come through and, and perform every year. And once we started going like the third year, we decided to collect a magnet from every show that we've seen in person there. Um, so we don't have a magnet for every show we've ever seen there, but from here going forward, we will pick one up. The only one that's not from here is actually this Michael Jackson one. So we got this in 2017 when my little sister got married. We took a an all girls trip to Las Vegas and we all went and saw the Michael Jackson one Cirque du Soleil show, which was incredible. And this is the magnet that we decided we needed uh, to commemorate that experience. And then we did get this from the Wizarding World of Harry Potter in Orlando. The one and only time we went, we had to grab something from there and we got this really awesome Dumbledore's Army Magnet. On the refrigerator side of our fridge, you're gonna see a lot of random magnets, but there are some Disney as well. So we have some from Bucky's, which is like our favorite place ever. This is one that I got from Belize. So we took a cruise in 2016 and I just love it because it says you better Belize it and it is a shot glass. So we don't actually use it for a shot glass, but I just thought it was super cute. And Belize was one of those places I wanted to visit in my lifetime. Um, and we went in 2016. This Hendrix College is a magnet. Um, that's where my oldest nephew um, started his, his college career. Um, he was only there for one year, but we did grab a magnet whenever we moved him into his dorm back in 2018, I believe. Then my mom and I took a girl's trip to New York, and of course I had to get a new New York magnet for that. Um, the next year, me, uh, both of my sisters, and my mom went to New Orleans for my mom's 60th birthday, and this was the magnet that I thought Donna would enjoy the most, and she did, and she loves it, so I picked well on that trip. Um, if you are familiar with Chip and Joanna Gaines, uh, they are down in Waco, and my mom had actually gone with my little sister uh, to visit there, and they brought me back this magnet because I was unable to go on that little day trip. Then we have this super adorable Stitch and Baby Yoda magnet. This was given to us by Liz Lennon, who um, is our personal shopper for everything Character Warehouse. She included this in one of our orders that we placed from her. Um, and I just think it is super adorable. And then further up, we just have several larger magnets. So we have this Big Bang Theory. I am a huge fan of the Big Bang Theory. Then we have the VIP Disney Movie Club. Whenever we signed up for it, we got this magnet for free. We got this really cool magnet actually made it. It's been through a few moves, <laughs> so it has broken a little bit, but we got this in Cozumel on our first cruise in 2014. And then we have this really awesome Pixar ball that I picked up from Hot Topic um, not too long ago, actually. And then we have the Buzz and Woody Alien Remix magnets that I also got from Hot Topic, I believe, or Box Lunch, one of the two, uh, within the past year. Absolutely love those. They are so cute. Um, these are actually five steaks and an eggplant magnets that we got in a friend's subscription box 
two other steaks are actually in use, but we definitely added those to our fridge. It's just, just as a little friend's reference. Then we have a few more Disney magnets. So this is actually a, um, a clipboard with uh, paper on it that we actually use quite a bit, especially when family's in town, but it is magnetized. So we keep this on the fridge whenever we need to make notes. And then we have a few more chip clip heads that um, are holding some cards, <laughs> but uh, those are part of the Mickey set that was over here. But Mickey is the only one not actually doing anything, just looking pretty. Then we got this uh, magnet a dry erase board from our last friend subscription box. So we threw that up on here in the center and I wrote working from home rocks because it does. And now that Donna works from home too, she agrees. <laughs> and then we do have several of the ghosts from the Haunted Mansion. Um, these are really, really hefty magnets and yeah, they are huge and they protrude quite a bit. We bought several of these from the character warehouse. They came in a pack of four, so all four of them came together. And we only kept four of them as magnets. The other 12 or 16 that we purchased, um, we actually made into ornaments for Donna's Halloween tree uh, with some fishing lines. So we only kept four to actually use as magnets and they do hold things that I have taken off uh, for this video. We have two more little poster or paper magnet things. Um, a couple of years ago when Halloween went on sale, all of the items that we found um, at Walmart and Target, we found quite a few of these magnetic um, notepads and we bought a ton of them. So we do keep one of each up here uh, for anyone to use as uh, you can see my, my little sister. Um, last used that one. So she wrote this about a year and a half ago and we just never took it down. We think it's funny. Here are two more of those steak magnets. And then down here we have Central Perk. This is another chip clip. This says, I love Car the Caribbean or Caribbean, however you want to say it. Uh, we got this on our last cruise in 2016. And then to end off our weird magnet collection that apparently we have now is this food and wine from Epcot 2020. Um, I got this from Liz Lennon. I purchased it. It showed up at the character warehouse for super, super cheap. So I did put this in my last order and it is very, very, very strong. But as you can see on the back, it did go for $14.99 and it was at the character warehouse for $3.99. So that definitely is a must in our kitchen. So again, here is just an overview of all of the magnets that we have on both sides of our fridge. And apparently we have a magnet collection. Who knew? There you have it. <laughs> that is our growing magnet collection that just, it just, it happened. just happened. It just happened, you guys. It just happened. Um, yeah, like, <laughs> It just happened. It just happened. And there's nothing wrong with them. Like, we actually do have quite a few things on our fridge that we display or that we have for memory keeping um, That that's on there. And our fridge is huge. And Yay, it holds a lot, a lot of magnets. Yeah. And whenever it's on a giant fridge like that, you don't really realize just how many are there. But we got some pretty cool ones. Well, yeah. Do you see all my Haunted Mansion ones? Yeah, the little paper doll-esque ones. I, I play Haunted Mansion. She does. She plays I, I play Haunted Mansion. <laughs> we can't make this stuff up, you guys. <laughs> but I think we have a nice selection. It definitely makes our fridge pop. And there's some color in the kitchen. And it's just really fun, too. Some of those that we are really, really attached to, like my Dory just makes me smile every time I see it so yeah I like the one we got in Belize though that is that little shot glass that just sticks right there and it says you better Belize it you better Belize it comes in handy <laughs> if somebody comes over and they don't want to go digging into the cabinet they'll just grab that one and go what I got a shot glass let's go it's very convenient we'll put it that way <laughs> but leave a comment down below let us know if you have a magnet collection um, that's not something, again, that we sought out to collect. We just kind of do. Now, whenever we go see our shows, um, our uh, Broadway tour shows, we do purposefully pick up a magnet for every show. We didn't start it until later on into our journey of going to see our local uh, tours that come into our local theater. Um, so we don't have all of them that we've seen, but 
We have a we have a good we got a pretty good, good selection. selection. Yeah. And every time we go to a Broadway show or off Broadway now Broadway tour, yeah, every time we go to one, that's what we do. We pick up a magnet for that show, and that's really the only thing that we intentionally attribute to our growing magnet collection. Everything else just happens. It just happens. Oh, <laughs> not me. It's weird. It makes me laugh because it's not something again that we sought out to collect. It just happens. Just there. <laughs> All right, that's gonna do it for us today, you guys. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you in our next video. Bye. Bye.